The strategy I'm going to show you today can make you a ton of money. It's super easy, super efficient, low risk. Let's talk about it. This is Mike, the tactical stock scalper. All right, all right. So I use this strategy for pretty much everything. And we're going to start here with SPY, but we're going to go look at quite a few others. So this is a 4 EMA strategy. You want to have the 20, the 50, the 100, and the 200 EMA on your chart and you wait for trending markets. It doesn't matter, or trending stock. It doesn't matter if it's going up or down. You just want to make sure it's in a trend, and all four EMAs are in a row like you see here on SPY. Now, I have bought SPY shares and uh, JEPI, uh, High Yield Fund, every single time on SPY that it's hit the 20 EMA, held it as support, and then kept writing it up. And every single time it comes to an EMA, I buy if it holds it. And like we see here on SPY, it has just done an amazing job. SPY is probably one of the best uh, funds that you could run the four EMA strat on. So we're going to talk about here. Let's just start here. What we're looking for is for the EMA to be held, right? So right here, this wouldn't have been one because it got below the EMA. So you would wait for this candle right here. Holding the EMA, the next one held it. We're good to go. Here's another instance. Here's another instance. Here's another, here's another, you see what I'm saying, right? It is just a fantastic strategy. Now, you can trade or invest with it. What I've been doing with SPY is I will buy, I will put my stop loss underneath the EMA that I am using, which in this case is a 20-period moving average. When it moves up a certain number of ticks, I sell it, make profit, wait for the next dip to the EMA, buy it when it holds it, Wait till it goes up a little bit, whatever my profit target is, and sell it. Now, with Jeppy, it's been great because I've just been buying every single time it hits the 20 and holds it. Now, there are some that aren't very good with the MAs. Let's look at the Qs, right? The Qs are a little more volatile. So that means it will puncture through the EMAs more often. So as you see, I don't really mess with the cues when it comes to um, trading because it really doesn't respect the EMAs as much as I would like. Let's go look at some that are great. Let's start over here with Amazon. Just Amazon's great. Look how it respects the EMAs, right? We're in a trend. We're going up. Here's some earlier times I've traded it. I put some lines on here. Now, you do got to watch out for these wicks. So when the wicks pierce it, you want to wait for the next candle. So there's a touch. Then we got a hold where you see my line. And then we're in. Right? Here's another instance. We got two touches here. Had a great hold right there. We're in. Stop loss below the EMA that I am using. It's another wonderful just full of examples of how safe and effective this strategy is. Look at that. We got a touch on the candle before. Next candle held. I'm in with shares or options, just depending. And away we go. Here's another one. And people say technical analysis doesn't work. It's absolutely mind-blowing how some strategies are simple and effective, and all you have to know is how to use them. Let's go look at another stock. What do you want to look at? MSFT? Let's go. So the key is to find stocks that respect the EMA. So all you got to do is pull out uh, a daily chart, right? And just zoom out and see if it respects EMAs. Here we go. Now this period here, see how they're all right there we wouldn't trade any of this right it's just right on the ema we want to see where there's a touch and a hold so if you were just patient and just waited a few days you would have this one here off the 50 right we had those touches it didn't get below the ema it touched the 50 the next candle held up and away you go 
just so many examples. Here's another one. Recently, touch, hold. Let me move this over for you. Your stop would be below the 50, so the candle that went down below and touched it again wouldn't stop you out. You would just ride on up, baby. Microsoft is just another great example. Amazon and Spy are just fantastic. Let's look at some others. Want to check out something cheaper? Check out Neo. Neo does a halfway decent job of um, respecting EMAs. Look at this one off the 200. Just beautiful. You would go short here with puts or shares, whatever you want to do right there. Touch and hold off the 200. Look at that thing. Writing it down. If you had your stop loss, you would just keep moving it down, moving it down, moving it down until it finally got hit. When it breaks through the EMA, we're not wanting anything to do with it. It has to touch and hold the EMA. Right? Here's another just wonderful example on Neo. Beautiful, picture perfect. Touch and hold on Neo on the short side. Bam, money. Now, as with any trading strategy, you don't want to get super aggressive, right? And, and let your profits just go. Just let it go up whatever percentage you're good with or risk reward risk reward ratio, which is what I typically do. I look on um, stocks like this on a daily. I'm looking for like a three to one. So if my risk is, let's say, 10 cents one way, I'm looking for 30 cents the other way, right? or whatever your criteria is. I look for a risk-reward ratio of a 3 to 1. When I'm scalping, I'm looking for a 2 to 1. So I'm looking for a 10-cent stop. And so if you're going to scalp, let's just go to SPY here. See if we've got anything going on today while we got live action trading. Let's go to a one-day, one-minute chart. If you're going to scalp, I'm going to zoom out here. So many wonderful examples today. Let's start here. You're going to go long. Touch and hold right there. Bam, you're off. Stop loss underneath the 50-period moving average. And away you go. This is just today. I mean, this is just... All you need is a trending market with all four EMAs lined up. You see that? Bam, another one off the 50. Look how much you would have made off that today. These went through. You wouldn't have messed with those. But just like any strategy, there's going to be losses. So that's why the stop loss is important when you're doing this. Let's go look at some other stocks. Let's look at what you want to look at. Uh, Palantir. Let's go to one, one year, one day. Little volatile here. Wouldn't want to do this one with the four EMA strategy. Look how it just keeps piercing EMAs. You may get some holds here and there. But oftentimes, it's too volatile and goes right through the EMAs and is not respected. So I would not do Palantir with the strategy. Let's go look at Google. Google got a little volatility to it. Let's see how it lines up. Yeah, again, piercing EMAs. You see this? Let me get rid of this here. Piercing EMAs all over the place. Look at that. Not respecting them, even in a trend. I mean, you got one there. Obviously, that's a nice one. But oh, by and large, it really doesn't respect the EMAs. Google would be out. But going back to something like Amazon or Spy, those are just absolutely incredible. So if you want to make money trading and investing, Check out the 4 EMA strategy. I got tons of tutorials on it on my uh, YouTube channel. Guys, I hope you enjoy the content. I don't share my strategies too often with you, but this is kind of a, a detailed dive. If you want to see a much deeper dive into how this strategy really unfolds, uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll do another video. I just want to put this out there to see if this even interested people. This is Mike, Tactical Stock Scout.